quickly as possible. However, ladies and gentlemen, anytime you have a binomial times a binomial, then we know we can use FOIL. You could use the box method, you could use FOIL face, whatever you want to, but it's the main important thing is you can't, you can't just multiply the first terms and the last terms. When applying FOIL, you have to multiply the first terms, the last terms, the outer, and the inner. Right? Kind of becomes a little bit of a process. But anyways, let's go through it step by step. Square root of y times square root of y is going to be the square root of y squared. I'll just do this basically. Square root of y times 2 squared of 3 is going to be, remember, when you're multiplying, you can just multiply the numbers. So that becomes 2 square root of 3y. Negative square root of 3 times square root of y is becomes a negative square root of 3y. And then the square root, negative square root of 3 times 2 square root of 3 becomes a negative 2 square root of 3 squared, which is 9. But we'll just leave it as 3 squared. Now we go ahead and simplify. Well, the square root of y squared is just going to be y. Are these the same radicands? Yeah. Is the root, the index the same? Yeah. So you subtract them. So it's basically 2 minus 1, which is just 1, right? There's a 1 right there. 2 minus 1, so it's just 1 square root of 3y. So I'm not going to write the 1. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then we have square root of 3 squared, which is really just 3. 3 times 2 is negative 6. And then that's all my terms I can combine, Jennifer. So that is going to be my final answer. What's the square root of 3 squared? 3. 3 times 2 is? 3 times negative 2 is? Negative 6. Yep.